Hello there. Today, on this nice Sunday morning, I'm sitting inside to show you the new portable power station I got. And um, this is wherever you need power. If you don't have power at home, then this thing can power your, your stuff, whatever you need. It has a lithium ion battery. And uh, let's just check it out and see how it looks like inside. Okay? So, look at that. That's how it looks like from all the sides. And that's what it is underneath. This is just plastic. There is no rubber feet. So, if you have a slippery <coughs> surface, like <clears throat> let's say the hood of your car, it would slide off. Here is a little button for a flashlight. So there is an LED flashlight in there, as you can see. It can blink, do this SOS thing and all that, you know. And you get stuck with your car on the side of the road. That it will do for a long time. There is the label with what it can do. And... Here, there is some holes in there. I suspect a fan being behind there. I don't know, there is a fan. So that's probably air intake. And there is a fan output. Don't know if it goes in or out with the air. And then up front here, we do have a nice display. We have a 12 volt, 8 amp power outlet for a cigarette lighter. We have a DC 12 volt output 8 amp. We have a 24 volt output 3 amp. We do have an input, so that's where we charge this thing. We have USB, two USB with 3 amps power, 5 volt. And we have a Type C with 18 watts power. So just in case you want to charge your GoPro or whatever, you can charge it here. And then we have AC outputs. Okay. Now uh, let's see how this sounds like. And uh, for that matter, let's see. I think my microphone should be good. Let's um, turn the power on here. And that also turns on the display. Okay. So here in the back, I have a fan, a 110 volt fan. And let's plug that in and see if this works. So when I push the buttons on the fan, nothing happens, so that obviously does not work. Um, the power is on already. Um, probably you have to push the switch button here. You heard a fan and a beep. Okay, this beep, I'm not sure where that comes from, if that is from my fan or not. Let's try that. I'm going to switch again. Switch on. No beep. So the beep was from my fan here. Okay, it's running here, there, my fan. And then I turn my fan on. And my fan is running on low. I feel the air coming out. And that takes 3 watts. So let's do the fan on 2. Fan on setting 2. There's more air coming out. It needs 7 watts, 9 watts. Okay, and then I'm gonna go full speed for this little tiny fan here. And it's at 20 watts. Now, I can put the oscillator on here so where the fan is moving back and forth. Look at that. moves back and forth and then we have a constant 22 watt power consumption from this fan. Now let's see here. I'm gonna push the off button. Does it have a, a label on it? It has a production label on this. But it doesn't say oh here. On the 20 volt, 16.4 amp. Uh, 0.4 amp. Let's 
what it says. Okay. We have this random photo right here. Well, that's gonna be tried. And I can try to charge my GoPro. I have here a USB C cable. I'm gonna plug this in. There. And then my GoPro camera. Either it blows up or it charges, one of both, right? Oh yeah, here. Yeah. So the charge light came on. And then we can see that we do a USB charge of 6 watts. So that will charge the GoPro pretty quick, I feel. Or not, I don't know. 6 watts, is that a lot? Maybe the battery is not that. I don't know, but we see it is going to work. Now, if we want to charge this, we need input, and this unit came with a user manual here. I can show this here. Like an 8-pager. And there. And that explains to you how you charge. You can attach a solar panel to charge it. In order for that, you have to have sunlight and a solar panel. And then we come to the conclusion, how long does it take to charge this with the solar panel? And we have to find out by trying it, right? So while this works here, we're gonna take a look what else is in the box. There is a box in the box. And there's several things we have in here. Um, we do have a charger in here. And this charger is a 19 volt charger with 3.4 amp. I'll charge adapter that has here this connector. And that goes in here to charge. I see this goes in here smooth. I don't know what happens if you plug this in here, if it will blow up or not. Good question, because it looks like that this connector fits there. Then we have a, a 110 volt plug for this here. Yeah. And then we have a cigarette lighter charger. So um, with this you can charge from your car battery, while your car, while you're driving. And in here, so you can charge this thing inside your car while you're driving. So those uh, are the wires and the charger that came in this little box in the box. So in order to open this, we have to remove all those screws. But one warning uh, ahead of time when you look at this. This unit can generate 110 or, or uh, 220 volts, so it can kill you if you don't know what to touch here. So you have to be extremely careful in opening this up. falling apart on me here. Not sure. Oh there. I have to take the display off. Oh there we go. So I got the display off. No the light off. There we are. And now we are getting somewhere. Else. Ah 
Here, I lost one connector. Came off the plug down here. Man. It's gonna be a bitch to get this back together. There it is. So there we have it apart. Um, we have here the back side with the light in it and uh, a connector here to connect the LED light. And this is the front part with all the connectors. It has here a main board in here with the power converters and all that. That's all glued together in there and connected here to this power thing. It's huge. And it's soldered on okay here in the back. And this battery is a pack out of four rows of eight batteries. And let me look up here, I don't know if you can see this here. See that? That's where it is. 18650, 2500 amp hours. And then that's how this huge pack looks like. Yeah, lithium ion batteries. Doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah. I'm going to put this back together and then we see what's happening afterwards. Oh, I do have one more thing in here to look at. That is down there, here by the big wires. There you see a 40 amp car style blade uh, fuse that is fusing this big battery towards the board so if everything blows up it disconnects that battery a 40 amp battery so that means that there is possibly 40 amps going through those connectors as a max this is an xt60 uh, connector so the connector can handle 60 amps and that fuse blows at 40 So after we put it back together, have all those screws fixed, we need to do a little test if everything still works. But when you disconnect the internal battery and put it back together, it won't turn back on. You first have to connect your power supply here and put it into charge. And then it turns on for the first time. See, so it's charging with 60 watts. Okay, and once you did this once, like this, that it turned on like that, then it should be able to uh, boot up again. Now, important is when you turn it on that you hear the fan spinning. If you don't hear the fan spinning, then you did something wrong, right? So turn it on. Oh, sorry. Not when you turn it on, when you switch to AC, right? There you hear the fan, and it turns back off. So that's how that goes. Um, do I have here my fan again? I can plug in. Where is my cable here? Sorry about that cable here. It beeps that it was my fan. Turn it back on. On three. Spinning around 20 watts. As you can see, it's still running, it's still working, and now we know what's inside. So I hope you like this video, and uh, feel free, free to subscribe and ask questions in the in the comments below.